This is Tony K, and today's tip is how to make a line off section for water ski ropes. So here's the finished product. It's a little different than the ones that are actual separate sections often built into slalom ski ropes or wakeboard ropes. Now why would you want this? Say you ski at an odd length, like I like to freestyle slalom ski at 7 off, so I've put one of these in my rope. Maybe you want a shorter line for wake surfing. This is the perfect permanent solution for you at any length. To measure your extra piece for the line off section, go slightly wider than palm's breadth. That's one. I'm going to fold it over twice and then a third time. That's a perfect length. Now it's better to go a little bit longer than a little bit shorter because when we're all done, you can actually trim it. If you go short, well, it's going to make it a little bit tougher. Now I do want to remind you that this only works with the hollow braid rope because you've got to be able to go inside the rope using the FID right here. If you don't know what a FID is or you'd like to make one yourself, you can check out my Learn the Ropes, Make Your Own FID video with the link right here. So I've threaded that section through the FID and then through the side of the rope where I want that line off section. And we're going to be back to the thirds rule. So one third of that rope is going to be in the middle. One third of that rope is going to be on the right, and one third of that rope is going to be on the left. So you can see I made a slight adjustment before I take the fid, thread it through the red rope, which is the single line off section, and directly into the main line white. Now you don't have to bunch up as you go. Just get it in there and push it almost all the way in. Once you've done that, you want to take the tail of that rope, wrap it around one complete revolution, and inside the fit. To get it pushed up in there, keep everything tight and push this up in as far as you can. You don't want it to slip out when you're going in. Now what you do want to do is as you're threading this up inside the main line, you do want to bunch it up as much as possible because you want to get that tail all the way up in so that you can pull it tight. So you can see I'm holding it accordion style, pushing it through with my thumb and as I pull it out, I've got just a little bit of that tail left. So I pull it tight. I want to get that knot nice and tight before I release the line off section rope inside the other rope. So we've completed one half of the job right here. So I like to just flip it over to the other side. So I'm working in the same direction once again for myself. And I'm just going to repeat the process. We're going to put the tail of that rope back inside the fid. Now you don't have to go all the way up in there because all we're doing is going through the side of the rope and pulling it through. So it's no big deal if you don't push it all the way up in there. And once you do that, you want to kind of stretch things out so you have equal lengths of rope on both sides. Now we'll go through the side of the line off section there and directly into the main line once again. We're going to push that up almost all the way in. And now it doesn't really matter which direction you do your 360 in with the, that tail of the rope. I went the opposite direction this time. You can go either way. It doesn't really matter. Threading it back into the back of the fid one more time. This is the trickiest part of this whole maneuver. You want to thread it up in there as far as you can. As far as you can. You don't want to lose that tail as you're bunching this rope up right now. So we're pushing the main line up accordion style using my thumb to thread that fit up as far as I can. There it goes. And as I said before, it's a little bit better if you have a longer rope because if you need to, if there's extra rope, you can always just trim it a little bit. If it's short, you're going to be stuck with maybe a little bit shorter rope than you'd like inside. So a little trim to get things just right. Stretch it out and there we go. You've made a line off section that you can put at any length in your rope. So when you're hooking this up to your pylon or tower, the part on the right would be the part going to the handle. It goes between the two lines you just made, and then it snugs tight. Thanks for watching. This is Tony K, and I'll see you later.